Hello everybody, this is Ali Reza. Welcome to another Kianda Smart Home Tutorial. Measuring temperatures play a significant role in automation. So I have decided to show you how you can measure temperature in Home Assistant using ESP Home. What is needed? For sure, an operating Home Assistant system, ESP32 development board integrated with Home Assistant. You can watch the integration video or let's say tutorial here. NTC temperature sensor or let's say thermistor and a constant resistor as same as the temperature sensors resistance at 25 degree let's start before programming the board I mentioned one more time that ESP32 development board is integrated with home assistant running ESP home let's start in Home Assistant UI, I click on Supervisor in left panel. Then I click on ESP Home add-on. Select Open Web UI. This is the ESP32 YAML file. By editing this file and installing it on the board, you can use or let's say program the board. I click on Edit. The file opens at the bottom of the file I paste the code let's go through the codes sensor as we want to use an NTC sensor to measure temperature ADC platform this section the analog to digital sensor allows you to measure a voltage on certain pins on the ESP32 pins GPIO32 through GPIO39 can be used. I used GPIO36 in this example. Update interval is optional. I set it to 15 seconds. You can set whatever you want. For example, 60 seconds. This is the interval to check the sensor. Default is set to 60 seconds. Resistance platform, talking about this part. The resistance platform is a helper sensor that allows you to convert readings from a voltage sensor into resistance readings in O. In front of configuration, we set downstream, or let's say we set configuration to downstream. This means that one of the pins of NTC sensor is connected to ground of the development board. Resistor value is 14k ohm. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this is the value of constant resistor and it must be the same value as the temperature sensor's resistance at 25 degree. NTC platform. The NTC platform is a helper sensor that allows you to convert resistance readings from NTC thermistor to temperature readings. Okay, the file is ready to be installed on the ESP32 development board. I click on install, select wirelessly. Installation begins, wait till it completes. Installation is completed. I click on stop. Let's talk about the wiring. This is my development board. I have connected one pin or let's say one side of the constant resistor to pin 3.3 volt of my development board. Then the other side of the resistor is connected to one of the wires of my temperature sensor. The other wire of temperature sensor is connected to the ground of development board. This is why we set configuration to downstream. Then I connected this part, the junction between the constant resistor and temperature sensor wire to GPIO 36 to measure its voltage. 
then convert it to temperature. Based on the colors of the resistors I used, it is 15 kilo ohms, but I calculated it with multimeter, it is 14 k ohms. In Home Assistant UI, I click on configuration on the left panel, select integrations. Then click on ESP32, click on three dots of the file, or let's say the device, delete it. After deleting the device, I click on add integration to add it again. I search for ESP Home, select it, enter the IP of my device, submit. Okay. I click on ESP32, it has one device, open it. As you see, the NTC temperature, the temperature is shown here. Okay, now you have to calibrate your temperature or let's say you have to test the calibration. You can use another temperature sensor to see whether your temperature sensor using ESP32 development board is measuring correctly or not. After testing it, I find out that I need to use filters and the one I have to use is offset as there is a 2.5 difference in the real temperature and the one Home Assistant is showing. Let's add the offset to my code. I navigate to Supervisor, select ESP Home Add-on, click Open Web UI, click on Edit related to ESP32 YAM file. At the bottom of the page, I enter filters. The one I want to use is offset. Plus 2.5 is the desired value for offset. By the way, you can change the name of your sensor to whatever you want. Okay, I added the offset. Then I click on install, select wirelessly, wait till installation completes. Installation completed, I click on stop, navigate to configuration, integration, ESP32, select the device. Now the sensor is working and ready to be used. One thing I forgot to mention related to NTC platform. Let's navigate to the YAM file. In NTC section, in calibration, there is a B constant, reference temperature, and reference resistance. You can find out about these numbers by looking at the data sheet of your thermistor. If you don't have access to data sheet or want to calculate these values yourself, you have to first measure three resistance values at different temperatures. Heat or cool the NTC to three different temperatures. Best if temperatures are far apart. And write down the resistance readings at those temperatures. Then replace these three codes with these three codes. Replacing the resistance and the temperatures of what you have calculated. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe my channel if you haven't done already. You can support me by buying me a coffee. I'll see you in the next video.